I'm Johnny from Expert Boxing. Right now I'm going to answer a question. Somebody asked me the other day, how does a coach know if a beginner fighter is going to be a good boxer? So uh, what are some things that coaches can see in beginners that lets them know they have a lot of potential and they might become very good fighters? For me, there, there are some very obvious things. Uh, starting with number one is natural fighter. When I say natural fighter, I mean a guy who loves to fight. He's been fighting. He fights his brothers. He fights on the street. He's, uh, he has a competitive background in wrestling or judo, another sport or something, and already likes fighting, likes confrontations, not afraid. That, that, that's very easy to work with. It's so much easier to teach a fighter how to box, have good defense, use movement, and use his boxing skills to fight, okay, than to teach a guy who's afraid of fighting and then he, he doesn't have the confidence, he doesn't want to engage, doesn't want to hit hard, doesn't want to get hit hard, doesn't want to be in the ring, he's kind of there for self-defense, or he's just, you know, he doesn't really want to brawl, he doesn't really want to fight. And the thing is, when you teach someone who doesn't want to fight, and you give him all the boxing skills, he uses those boxing skills to run away, to evade, be defensive, and avoid fighting. But when you give the skills to a guy who's a natural fighter, he's going to use it to fight. And it's so much easier to work with. A natural fighter, He's going to enjoy it, he's going to be in the ring, he loves being in there, he doesn't have problems like fear, he doesn't have problems like being tired, or that kind of thing. He just loves being in there, and he's comfortable. Uh, second trait, I would say, is motivated. It's great to have a guy who's just truly motivated, uh, believes in himself, enjoys his sport, knows that, that the time in there, he's enjoying the time, he's enjoying learning, doing new things, trying new things, and he works hard. Okay, I don't have to tell him, like, hey, come in. I don't have to tell him, uh, Come on, you can do it, you can do it, you, you, you'll be champion. Well, I don't have to tell him any of that. He already believes in himself. So when he comes in the gym, right away, uh, strength and conditioning, do the drills, get in the ring, we get, we get to work right away. I don't have to spend time playing the, the, the confidence booster. Okay, he already has good motivation. And it doesn't mean that he's full of himself or thinks he's going to be champion of the world. It just means he's enjoying it, he's motivated, and he wants to do it. That's it. It doesn't matter what it is, he wants to do it. That's what being motivated really is to me. Third trait in beginners that I love to see is a willingness to learn. They don't care, good, bad, effective, not effective, championship technique, pro technique, amateur technique. They just want to learn it. They're just curious. That's the kind of a person I would say is easy to teach. It's a problem when you get like a beginner, and especially a smart beginner, because they're very smart, they can see a move, they'll see a pro do a move, and then they copy the move perfectly. And so they look, and they look at themselves, they go, oh, they think the move is perfect, but in reality, the movement is perfect, but it doesn't feel the same. It might look like a pro, but it, it doesn't feel like a pro. It doesn't have the subtle details. And it's a problem teaching these guys. It's, a, it's, it's very hard to teach someone something when they think they already know it. You need someone who's open and willing to learn and learn again and learn again and learn what they, you know, they think they already know. Fourth trait is someone with a, an appreciation for the art. Someone who loves boxing and enjoys every aspect of boxing. It's very common to get a guy who comes in, all he cares about is he wants Mike Tyson punching power, he wants Floyd Mayweather shoulder roll. That's it. Mike Tyson punching power, Floyd Mayweather shoulder roll. And, and, and that's it. That's all he thinks boxing is. He thinks boxing is throwing hard shots and slipping hard shots. And it's not that at all. If you think that, you're, you're limiting your mind. Boxing is a full range of techniques. There's footwork techniques. There's subtle feints, clever feints. Uh, not every punch is a hard punch. There's strategic punches that set up the hard punches. There's so many things. It's not all about just having a perfect left hook. It's not about just power, speed, and flesh. You have to be appreciating the finer arts. And if you have a guy who only cares about power, what happens is he limits himself. He only likes watching power punchers. He only likes learning from power punchers. And you know, when you think that, you, you limit yourself so much. It's good to see different styles. It's good to see, if anything, I love to watch guys with no power because now I see how they throw punches with perfect accuracy to do the damage. I see how they use lots of defense to stay out of range, stay out of harm's way because they don't have the power to fight back. So I love watching, and even weird styles or styles that just look silly, but for some reason there's a stylistic advantage, I learn from that. So I like fighters that uh, learn from that as well. Try to learn from everybody in the gym. Enjoy it. Enjoy every style. Enjoy boxing. All about boxing. Not just the flashy uh, power punching and knockouts.
Last thing, fifth thing, athleticism. Uh, boxing is a physical sport, so you got to have some kind of advantage somewhere, okay? Maybe it's power, maybe it's uh, speed, maybe it's uh, endurance, or uh, height, reach, something. So you, you, or maybe a good chin, you can take a lot of shots, you're very, very physically strong, but, you, but you, you have to have some kind of advantage somewhere. It's a physical sport. You can't just go in there being the shortest, short-armed, slowest, weakest guy with no energy. That, it's not going to work. Boxing is a sport. There are two things I want to say that are very overrated in terms of uh, what makes a beginner good, uh, but uh, a lot of potential. I would say power is very overrated. People think it's all about power. And you know, a guy with natural power is great, but usually it comes with a cost. Like, for example, all he focuses on is power. You ask him to throw light and he can't do it. Like, if he, he cannot be successful without his power. Also, some guys are very powerful, but it comes with horrible endurance. They just have no gas tank. They throw 10 hard punches, they're done. Other thing is, uh, guys that have a lot of power, some of them don't have control. They just have no, they just, they're just swinging, they're wild, no control. And you know, in amateur fighting, it's a points game. So even if you have power, that's more of a pro game. At the amateur level, it's seriously just black, run, jab and run, jab and run, hit and run, hit and run. So being able to do this is probably not going to take you to the Olympics. Another thing I would say is overrated about boxing is intelligence. Some of the smartest guys uh, can actually be the worst beginners, and I kind of said it already, is that they're, they're just too smart, they think too much, they overanalyze, and instead of like, just be there, pay attention, fight, throw whatever punches, move whatever way you need to do, they end up thinking, they overthink, they overthink, and they're lost in their head. It's better when you have a guy who's just empty-minded, he comes in there, and the coach does the thinking for him. You know, so I, I prefer that. Yes, learn later. Think when you're at home in the ring. Just, just go. You're an animal. You're an animal. Do your thing. So those are the, what I feel would be most obvious to me. In the, when I look at beginners, I end up being very good within a year or two years. I'm Johnny from Expert Boxing. Check out my website, expertboxing.com, for more great boxing tips. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Expert Boxing. Thanks for watching.